it almost feels like I've been here before and I've never been to a, a, like a modern contemporary kind of church before, but it feels like, felt like home. Call it church all the time. Is it okay for me to call it church? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's still church. Um, it's the first time ever that somebody introduced themselves to me. As I saw the sign, I was like, fine, I'm, I'm going to look into this. <laughs> so I went to the website and I, right there on the front, podcast. I was like, just got my iPod. This is perfect. Right. So I started listening. And I only talk about two sermons. And I'm like, that's it. This Sunday I'm going. Natalie and I were just talking one day. And I said, you know, it's so hard to get to church. It's so hard to bring the kids into the church um, because they're young. There's nothing for them at the church we were going to. And she said, well, come to Skyline. Just come try it out. I was looking strongly at finding a place that spoke to me spiritually. Um, and that, that search was not going very well. I looked at, you know, kind of the, the pictures of the graphics on the walls and the, the words up on the screen and everything. And it, at first, I wasn't quite sure what to make of that. But then I actually found I liked it. That's what Bo was talking about. It'll hit me, and, and it's maybe, it won't even be from the Bible. It'll be from the first story, because usually you start with a personal story, and then you weave it into the Bible. And that's how, that's what helps me. Because being a teacher, that's how I teach. You know, I don't go right for the verbs and adjectives, I go for the songs and everything, and that's what gets the kids hooked in. Yeah, so you usually hook me in. There's something going on here, not only when you look in the rooms and you see people busy, and you see um, it's an active, live church, you can see that just walking around and seeing people doing things, but there's something going on here with energy. This is the first time, it, and, and part of it could be, I'm. Um, I was finally open. I was finally, I was finally ready to to accept everything. But it's the first time that I felt, in all of my years, that that people have shown me how to have a relationship with God. First and foremost, is that I'm at a place that I'm comfortable being at, and worshiping God. Two, being around people that are comfortable with me and who I am, and accepting me and who I am. And three, allowing me to grow with God. What really captured me was welcoming everyone who wants to be a part of the community, whether they're young, old, um, biracial, um, different sexual orientations, things like that, that everybody belongs, um, no matter who you are, and there's not a prejudice eye. And in so many other um, church organizations out there, it is not that way. I'm really excited to join Skyline. I mean, it's a really exciting, vibrant community that reaches out to people, it cares about people. Um, I don't know, it's, it's an organic community. It's not a place where people just show up and go to church. It's a place where people come and they're, they're really genuinely together. I almost think that I wasn't, hadn't lived a life in order to deserve to sit amongst everyone here. And it took a long time to see, and through the grace and the love of everyone in this building, to feel welcome. And it got to the point where I, like I said, I was holding myself back, I think, because I think God opened up so much opportunity for me here that I realized by not joining, now I'm, I'm stopping myself from helping and from getting involved and bringing my talents and skills to, to play. Joining this church, it gives me a place to come every Sunday, but it also gives me a, a way of, of living now. It gives me something where before when I left a church, I didn't take anything with me. Now each week, it's, I feel like every time you and Vicki talk, it gives me a brick or it gives me a, something to build my house our house, the, the, the Christian house that I want to live in. One of the children taught me about God. That God is very creative. God has a special place for everyone. God has a purpose for every child on this earth. And I feel that God has put me here 
to help mold them and to help them understand that the world is a good place and without them there will be no future. You can come in, you can attend worship, you can put your children in Sunday school, you can um, support the church financially all without joining. To me it's an additional commitment. It's standing up and publicly declaring that I am a part of this community and I want to contribute at another level. The best phrases I ever heard was somebody saying, um, it was a sermon long ago, um, with all this horror in the world and all the disasters, God, how could you let this happen? Why don't you send help? And God said, I did send help. I sent you. And you get that sense here. But every day before I go to my job, in my car, before I get out, I always say, dear God, please help me. Help me to be the teacher that can teach these children what they need to know and help me be wise enough to know what to do because I know that by myself I'll get in there and I'll mess this up. <laughs> so you need to be behind me. And I've felt better since I've been coming here. Um, I almost feel like I have a security blanket around me. I feel like I'm, I have protection. Um, I feel like when I go to work, there's somebody else in my corner now. You know, it, I feel like there's an organization of people standing behind me and believing in the same thing. And not only believing what I believe in, but I feel like they believe in me. It's just that overwhelming feeling of knowing there, there are so many people here who, who will be here to help me. And, and it's all because we're here for one reason. And I think love is a very powerful, powerful word that the world has devalued. And I think love transcends friendships and relationships. And what holds us all together is us being humans and all being children of God. And bringing that love back to this world is something I want to be part of. You had told me one time, we've been waiting for you a long time. And I said to myself and I said to Joey after that, I said, wow. I said, uh, he said he's been waiting <laughs> for us. And that was so profound to me. I don't know if you know that or not because I've been looking a long time for a place and to know that somebody's been waiting for me really spoke to me.